guys, Wartons here and welcome to another Fall Guys video. In this video, we'll take a look at some tips and tricks for the Jump Showdown variation known as Jump Blowdown that was released in the Mid-Season 3 update. As I've already done a guide on Jump Showdown, I won't go into details in this video on how to play it normally. So if you haven't already seen that guide, pause the video now and go watch it or re-watch it to get reminded of all of the basic strategies for Jump Showdown. The only difference that has been changed for this variation is an added fan that goes around the outside of the platforms blowing towards the middle. The fan is going counterclockwise around the arena, which is opposite the poles that are spinning clockwise. This means that you will have to turn your camera from side to side to know exactly when the pole and the fan will be at your platform respectively. When you want to run past the fan's crossfire, you simply run in the opposite direction of the fan's movement. You may also want to try and run slightly diagonal towards the fan in an attempt to counteract the backwards pushing motion. The most important fact to remember, however, is that the longer you stay in the crossfire of the fan, the further it will blow you. This is true for all fans in the game, as they have an easier time pushing you if you already have momentum in the direction of the wind flow. When you see the fan approaching your platform, you want to brace yourself with a little bit of patience and not run through the airstream until you know there's plenty of room on the other side. Unlike the poles, the fan does not speed up throughout the entire round, so you can easily miscalculate how fast it's actually moving and then in turn start running too early. So far, I've only used clips where we end on the double-sized platform, but you can of course also be unlucky and get the single tiles. Here, the difficulty will be taken to the absolute maximum, and you'll have to be extremely precise when it comes to jumping and moving across the wind stream. I don't think it's an overstatement to call this the hardest obstacle in the entire game, unless you of course count other players as obstacles. Lastly, I want to show you how you can use the moving across the wind stream on other levels, like for example slime climb. When you get the fan ending, line yourself up all the way to the left and wait until it's moving away from you again. Wait one second, then follow it. When you enter the crosswind on the fan's return, move diagonal to the left. This should ensure an easy qualification. It is now your turn to take what you've learned from this video and apply it to your own gameplay. With enough practice, W's will come in no time. If you enjoyed the video or just found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more future guides. Also, let me know in the comments which map you'd like to see a guide on next time. If there was a section you didn't quite understand or you'd like me to flesh out some of the points that I had, make sure to find me on Twitch where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, link in the description down below. I have been Wardrums and you have been you and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day and a good life. Bye.